unto us, hey, the gospel was preached unto you. He says, for unto us the gospel was preached as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. Now the Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And the gospel was preached unto them. The gospel was preached to Israel in the wilderness, and there were some that didn't believe it. There were some that rejected God, and you know, hey, God ultimately rejected them. So he says here, not being mixed with faith. So when you take the gospel plus faith, you can enter into rest. You can find salvation. Verse number three, he continues, he says, for we which have believed do enter into rest. Now rest is the salvation. Rest is like that Sabbath day that God took. He says, for we which have believed do enter into rest. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. Now look, Jesus Christ knew who he would die for. He knew who you would be before you were formed in the womb. He knew what your choices would be, and He's given you an opportunity to choose everlasting life, to receive the free gift. But He says here, the works were, fa were finished from the foundation of the world. Before Jesus ever created the first thing, He already knew what works would be necessary and had already determined that it would be finished. Now, of course, Jesus in Revelation, it says that He's the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. He, as the Lamb of God, was already slain. It didn't happen until the man, Jesus Christ, walked the earth and chose to lay down His life for us. So it didn't physically happen in time, but God, who is outside of time, that created time on day one, says, even before day one, I am that Lamb. I am that sacrifice, the payment for all. Uh, also, for the foundation of the world, this phrase, it's used in John 17 of the Father. It says that He loved the Son from the foundation of the world, even from the beginning. Also, in Matthew 25, it talks about uh, those that will inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And they'll say, well, I don't see the kingdom yet. Well, hey, back from the foundation of the world, we didn't see Christ, but yet He was there. It had happened because God had already determined it. So, in verse 3, when He says, we which have believed to enter into rest. There is a kingdom to obtain, and it's by your choice to believe. Jesus knew he would die for the world before hey, the first Adam was created, before you were born. And God knows who will choose salvation even before the last day of this earth. Verse number four, for he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. So here we know the creation story. Now look, uh, God, as powerful as he is, he could have created everything in one word or in one sentence or just snapping his fingers. He didn't even have to speak, right? He could have thought it into existence. Instead, he did it the way he did for a reason. So we can learn of him and see these pictures. Well, the creation picture is also a picture of salvation. He knew from the beginning what he would do. He set goals and he accomplished it and he planned on taking a rest on day seven. He planned on taking a rest on day seven as a picture of salvation. And look, when God makes plans, he finishes them, right? And it's like a builder that can say, I will be done by this date. And he knows it. And that's responsible. Well, God is that way. He knew exactly what he would accomplish. Look at verse five. And in this place, again, if, if, notice the condition there, they shall enter into my rest. Again, it's all about choices. They who the gospel was preached didn't mix it with faith and therefore they fell and they never entered into the rest of Christ. The picture was, hey, they didn't enter into the promised land because of bad choices and that also is a picture of salvation. 